This is the reverse gag short shank with a three piece dog bone. Once again, this bit is unique. The unique feature about it is where the gag part is. It's on the front of the shank, and that just helps pro promote flexion of the pole. Uh, this is a good bending bit. What it, I like about this bit is I can take the curb chain up, and if, if I need to work on a little more lift or a little more rate, I can shorten that curb chain up, and it doesn't affect the way the bit works. You still have some movement right here, or if I need more bend, I can let the curb out. What's important on these gag bits is making sure you got it picked up in the horse's mouth. If this thing is just hanging down in the mouth, you're not going to have a very good feel. So pick it up in the mouth. You've got your gag right here that, that, that needs to be able to work. And something else, this is a high purchase cheek piece. A lot of head stalls do not fit on a high purchase bit. And so it's important, everybody should have a couple of these nylon head stalls. If I have a horse uh, that my bit is hanging on, I can simply slide that buckle up and I still got my adjustments over here that I can make this head stall fit, fit, a, a, <laughs> fit a pony. Uh, but a lot of people will get nice fancy head stalls and they don't fit on their horse properly, especially on a gag bit or a bit that is, has a high purchase.